Okay, if you've clicked on the title of this video, maybe you're looking to get into a condo, maybe you're looking to move to Florida and get into something nice along the water right here. So I have an, a couple articles that I've kind of did a deep dive into and picked out some pain points for a lot of people, some statistics that we are going to go over. But first I wanted to get you inside of a popular condo here in Sebastian. And I'm gonna give you a tour around here and then you guess the price and then I'll tell you a little bit later on in the video while we're kind of talking about everything. So this is River Run, it is in Sebastian and this is a second, uh, second floor unit. It has an elevator, so, um, which we're gonna talk about a lot of these pain points that a lot of other people have, but it does have an elevator corner unit. You have the Indian River Lagoon, you could see. You have the little islands out there that you could go and park your boat. This community also has boat slips available. So if you're a boater, this could be another amazing option for you. So I'm gonna give you a tour right now. Tell me your thoughts right now in the comments of what you think this price point is. So we're gonna start outside. I didn't wanna go out there just yet cause you're gonna get some wind noise and um, you know, that's kind of gonna be an issue. So this is the view that you have right here. All of the Indian River Lagoon right here is going to be the master exit. So this is all yours. I'm gonna flip the camera around right now and I'm gonna give you a walk around tour. Okay, so we started on the back porch. We'll go back there and I'll show you the views throughout, but I am using a wide angle lens so you could get shots. This is going to be your front entry as soon as you come in. I'm gonna give you a shot of the front door because it is quite phenomenal and you could kind of get a feel even from the front you have great views because you are right along the indian river so you see you can purchase a boat slip and have a boat slip or have a boat there which um, this unit is actually selling one uh, for around forty thousand. so you come in right here and this is going to be an entry closet this is your den so technically it does have to have a a closet for it to be considered another bedroom it has the pocket door so you could shut this put a day bed and if you have any visitors then you're pretty much set you have an extra um, room but they technically can't call it a room it is a two bedroom two bath you see you have white appliances counter space and you still have shots of the intercol. It's kind of washing it out right now, but you have shots of the Indian River Lagoon. We'll go back out there and you're gonna see boats and people actually camping out on the island, enjoying the sandbar. Mirrors all along here. So um, let me know your thoughts on the price point, what you're thinking. You have a pantry right here. And then moving on, another shot of your living space, your dining area, plenty of room to put bar stools, which we'll check out in a second. This is going to be your other bedroom. Plenty of space for two twins. You could have a king easily, put one on each side. Closet space. Plenty of room right there. And then you could see another closet here, which will go um, into the master and you'll see the closet space there. So what is your thoughts on the appliances for the price point? Guess the price point below and you'll get a prize. <laughs> Just kidding, so um, shower, you can see needs some slight updating. I'm gonna jump into the shower so you could get a shot of the other, uh, the other area, which I probably should have shut the toilet seat, but you know, we're doing a quick walkthrough and then we'll talk about the, the issues people are having with condos. So train, air handler, on the other side, you have some closet space as well. So plenty of space. We're gonna jump out there in a second again so I could show you. This is going to be your primary bedroom and you can see you have plenty of space to even put a larger bed. This looks like maybe a queen, uh, maybe even a full, honestly, but you could definitely remove that, put two nightstands, put a king in here and you'll still have plenty of space to walk through. You can see that they have big furniture. This is your patio that runs along the front. Beautiful views. And then we are going to go into the master, which 
here I am. You can see a lot. I wanted to pause the video for one second and say like, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I look at my analytics. It tells me you guys keep coming back to find useful and up-to-date information, whether you're looking to relocate to the Treasure Coast or just the whole state of Florida. I try to provide the most up-to-date and accurate information that'll make your transition as smooth as possible. So even if you're not relocating to the Treasure Coast in particular, I have wonderful connections and I kind of pride myself on building wonderful relationships with other people that'll take care of you as if I were your agent in a different location. So reach out. Another way to get a hold of me is leaving a comment. I read them, good or bad, I'll read them and I respond. It is me, no one else. But I do have a whole team dedicated to getting you here as simple and easy as possible. I know that's tough if it's from a different state or maybe even a different city. It's still a tough transition. So if you have any of those needs, please feel free to reach out. Let's just get back to the video, but thank you for watching. A lot of mirrors. So every shot you have a mirror. And then right here, let me turn that on, get a little bit of noise, but that's going to be your primary bedroom. So what are your thoughts on the price? I'm gonna give, uh, I'm gonna give it to you just one second. Okay, so I am half in the unit, half on the porch to cut some of the wind noise so it doesn't irritate you on your, uh, on your device. But this is a two bedroom, two bath, 1500 square feet. Leave the comments down below. We're gonna go over the price in a second, but there's actually a couple of homes or a couple of condos that are actually for sale in this community that have been for sale. This one is relatively new in the grand scheme of things. Average days on market right now is around 55 to 61. So um, that's the current state of the market that we are in. Take, take a look at this timestamp and see, but condo prices have dropped just month to month. In January, I believe it was 6%. Again, they dropped um, they've just been continually dropping and that's due to a lot of issues Florida is facing. Even with this beautiful scenery, the beautiful views, homeowners insurance is a major part of Florida, especially the tragedy that happened down in Miami. If you're not familiar, one of the condo units collapsed and I'll put the, um, I'll put the news article up so you can have an idea of what I'm talking about. But um, just between that and insurance, just in general in the state of Florida, that's a major issue people are facing is getting into a... Uh, a condo and then having to deal with the insurance cost of living in a condo, especially if you are on a fixed income, which there are 55 and up communities and 55 and up condos. This is not one of them. So along with that, you have soaring HOA prices, which yes, the HOA price, I'll tell you in one second, but with the soaring HOA prices, with the insurance, all of those are going to be play a major uh, play a major factor into actually purchasing and now I am throwing up shots of River Run which kind of gives you a feel for the area especially if you're not familiar with Sebastian the Treasure Coast definitely more of a laid-back lifestyle if you've watched this channel then you know uh, pretty much the whole area and you know where River Run's located but I'll throw it up on the map right here so you can kind of get a good feel for it so if you're looking to move anywhere else maybe you're just looking for a condo in general and you came across this video we're going to touch on some of um, the prices as a whole so for example just using Miami's statistics right now we've talked a little bit about Sebastian and Vero Beach they fell three percent from last January and then they've been falling nine percent year over year now I by no means am a, am a market expert in Miami, so I always uh, refer any of my business down there and I have great connections. So if you're looking to move to Miami, please feel free to reach out. But as far as that goes, listings over there rose 27% year over year. So now that we are kind of in this market where you're able to shop around a little bit, people are coming back in the market. They're wanting to sell their condos, get rid of their high insurance premiums and take into account the HOA fees, especially I'm not familiar again with Miami, but the HOA fees can't be, um, you know, can't be the cheapest thing when you're living down in Miami and South Florida. We're getting a lot of transplants moving up from South Florida to Sebastian Vero Beach area for that more quiet and slower pace of lifestyle. And it is more affordable. So all of these are going to play a factor on if you're looking to relocate, if you're looking to retire. And if you are on a fixed income, a almost $900 a month, and this is just one of the, um, one of the condo communities, almost $900 a month is a tough sell if you're on fixed income, even if the home prices is lower. So now they do have like townhomes and other stuff. So if you're not looking for a condo, this is, uh, you know, you could also live in this community if you're willing to pay that HOA. But 
Um, you know, that's just the statistics strictly off of Redfin on a quick search because I know a lot of people looking to relocate to Florida, they take a look at Miami, they take a look at um, Fort Lauderdale, the whole kind of down south section of Florida. And I just wanted to mention that just to kind of throw that out there. So maybe you're still looking to move to a major city. Sebastian and Vero is not for you, but you want that fast pace of lifestyle. Another big condo market is going to be Jacksonville. And Jacksonville sales prices are actually down 7% for condos. And again, I'm grabbing this all from online data, which um, I'll throw it up on the screen, but it's down 7% and sales declined 27%. So that's just month to month. People aren't wanting to move into condos now. I get it's kind of slowed down and we did see a huge run, but those are two areas to kind of think about if you're looking to move to a condo market. So maybe you are looking to move to that slower pace of lifestyle. Could you see yourself moving into a condo where you may need to do some renovations, may, may need to update the appliances, update the unit as a whole for 510? Because I will tell you right now, now this may not uh, pertain to you if you're looking to relocate and you want to be in a condo with a view like this i do understand that's a phenomenal view but there are communities popping up in sebastian there are pu uh, new communities popping up in vero one is actually across the ri uh, across the river across on the mainland side right across from the w wabaso causeway bridge so it is a short five minute drive and you can get a home for, I believe it's the mid 400s into the 500s and it's a brand new construction. So you won't have to deal with the headache of the insurance costs, the energy efficiency, uh, any special assessments, because that's another huge thing. Assessments that are driving people out of, out of the condo um, just because you know they, they know that assessment's coming, they know it's going to increase and it's just going to kind of deplete their savings. So if you're looking for any type of condo or any type of new construction build, please feel free to reach out. If you want more information on you know some of the homes in the area, some of the condos in the area, just if you want me to do more of a sit down kind of analytical view of the condo prices, I have a tough time doing that just because condo prices do change, everything changes in real estate. So it makes it a little bit more difficult to keep you up to date if you watch this video a couple, um, a couple you know, months later and stuff has drastically shifted. So if you want more information like that, please leave a comment below. But if you're looking to relocate, then reach out. I have connections throughout the whole state of Florida. I just wanted to make this video because condo prices are a hot topic right now. And I just wanted to give you guys the most accurate and up-to-date information. So subscribe to the channel, reach out if you're looking to relocate anywhere in the state of Florida. And I hope to see you guys here, but if I don't, I will see you guys in the next video.